coming back at you with another video boys and girls so hopefully you're ready for a little bit of a change of pace we are on clash of plans we're going to try and preview a strategy that i like to call the goho wee wee this is a uh, town hall 9 strategy it can be used with town hall 10 as well but uh, you don't want to be attacking too many town hall 10 bases with this strategy uh, the inf multi t uh, inferno towers will Essentially, they will they will destroy you in a big way. So um, this is our troop lineup. Okay, so four wall breakers, ten wizards, twenty hogs, two golems, a witch, and typically either wizards or a couple of witches in your CC. Three heal spells and a rage, and your king and queen. My king is asleep right now, but we're going to go ahead with this anyways and see if we can come up with a victory. Um, with or without him, without him. So let's go through here, try and track us down a decent town hall nine with some tiny bit of dark at least, because this is costing us a, a rather significant amount of dark um, in the vicinity of 2,000 dark. So this is definitely a war attack strategy. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time wasting um, dark elixir using this strategy, but it is important to have a lot of time to survey a base. Um, I don't have that. I have 30 seconds, so complicates things a little bit. Um, but this is it is what it is. So basically, what you want to do is you want to look around the base and you want to find spots where the double giant bombs are going to be, or at least where the giant bombs could potentially be. Okay, here we go. We already knocked out a sink, so that's great on the um, on the attack search on our video. Of course, we are. We're destined for failure tonight. This is the second time I've done this and it's, uh, it's kicked me out. Last time uh, it kicked me out in the middle of an attack. So that one was a decent base. But basically what you want to do is you want to find a base that you can that you can, uh, that you can attack and assess within 30 seconds and say, okay, I should be able to take this out with a strategy such as this. So we don't want to go against any pink walled town all night. We want to go against somebody that's going to have some resistance and have a bit of loot in there for us to make up, recoup at least a thousand of our dark. So let's see what we got here. This is a war type strategy like I've already said. So you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to be just the way you're dark. Okay, this guy looks pretty good. Um, he, he, uh, he's obviously not a very high level. I mean, his wizards are pretty good. Um, other than that, though, I mean, he's pretty low level. So, oh, he doesn't even have a queen. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead with this strategy because I don't want to be playing around all day. Typically, we would hunt for the queen, and we would go kill the queen with this um, intro strategy. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to go after the king. So they're missing one hero, we're missing one hero. So let's uh, let's try and go right here. We want to funnel all these wizards. We want to get the witch in there. We want to get uh, some wall breakers down in here. We want to get the wizards in here. And the archer queen. We want to stomp these guys right out. Close these right out the door. Okay, so there's the CC. We were kind of hoping to get them in the raid spell. Um, hopefully, we're going to be okay because the uh, golems are there. We're going to go at it now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we are now into the base. Uh, drop us a spell here. Anywhere where you think that there might be. Uh... Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm feeling like we're probably going to walk away with this with the victory. Uh, we lost our, we lost all our wizards. We lost our witch. Um, we dropped that rage spell a little early. 
Um, we probably didn't need it to take out the King, but I really think that we would probably walk away with a victory on this one, a three-star victory. As long as these hogs don't all get sprung out of here. So once the queen gets into that next compartment, I'm going to drop the her rage. Um, try and speed this up a little bit because we're down to one minute. I got to zip all the way across the other side of the base. Oh, see, there goes the archers. They're going to jump in the spring trap. There you go. Yeah. But they took it out before the wizard got killed. But this is the beauty of this strategy. Once the hogs are left to run around the base, they do so much damage so quickly. Um, it's, unless you deploy very slowly, you're going to have a lot of difficulty. If you come out of here with enough heroes, you have a lot of difficulty uh, not three-starring in the time frame of mounting. So this is going to be close. I feel like those hogs, now there's only, what, four of them. It's going to be tight. Really, really tight, especially if the queen can get through that wall, she should be able to shoot that store collector there. Go, go, shoot it. Take it down. Oh, damn. Okay, so that was close. All right, we got our bonus. We got everything but the three star 99%. So that's that without the king. Okay, so typically you're going to have your king. You're going to have a couple of witches in your CC. But that's how you do that. So this is the guild that I, the clan that I'm in, in Clash of Clans, is the Lannisters. Um, we are a level five clan and we are beast mode. Just so you know now okay so look us up if you're looking for a decent plan all right this is wings rule signing off peace open your head take a